Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Amy. And this is our dog, Jagger. We left our beautiful home in Maui and built ourselves a home on wheels. And now we would like to invite you to join us as we drive from California to Panama. Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we take our rig on a trial run to Morro Bay, find some issues with our solar system, try to fix the problems, and Jagger has to have a last minute surgery. It's uh, June 24th, this is our truck. She is packed, so we are, we're about to leave. All right, so we made it to um, somewhere past Coachella and we're about an hour and 20 minutes, maybe even less, from Mex Mexicali border. Good morning! It is going to Mexico day! Uh, we left Ojai yesterday around 5 and we were never going to cross the border uh, the day that we left. We always knew we would stay the night somewhere but we thought we would stay somewhere a little bit more romantic than the Red Earth Casino. We do have another little bit of a solar issue. Um, the refrigerator has like an automatic turn off if the power coming from the battery gets to a certain voltage so that we don't over drain our battery, but nothing else does. And we want to run fans and we have these glorious little fans and we were running one last night. Anyways, uh, the fan didn't turn off, the fridge did, Battery is really low. So yeah, we are going to need to get one of those like regulators for our charge controller, which will limit the amount of power we use so that, so that- uh, You're just making stuff up. <laughs> am I just making stuff up? Yeah, we don't need to get a regulator for the charge controller. I'm just gonna rewire that. Uh, fuse block through the charge controller and the charge controller has a load terminal on it that you can set so that it disconnects at whatever voltage you want. Yeah, what he said. Easy peasy. All right, success! We are in Mexico! Um, they did not care at all that we have a dog, uh, even though we got a health permit, but it might be useful when we cross the ferry. And it only took us like 42 minutes. That was pretty good. And... Super easy. There wasn't a line when we went in to get our tourist permits. And, or really at the bank, there's one other person. that said the hot springs and a closed gate so we are walking in there's another sign up here and really hoping we find somebody and we can camp here uh, I've been really looking forward to this and it was like an hour and a half drive down quite a bumpy salt flat and sand Far in the distance, we saw some palm trees and it looked like maybe some kind of roof. It was way too far for us to be hiking. It is, I don't know if I've ever been in heat this hot. It's gonna be like 120 out there. It's so hot. Um, would be really bad for Jagger as well, even if we had hoofed it out there. So we're 
we're driving back out the road we just have no idea what's going on why this place isn't open it says like it costs more on weekends which it is a weekend and it's a weekend today's saturday um i reread through the guidebook it says it's open year round showers like it has food like it sounds like a pretty legit facility but yet we really can't find it um, we found it, we think, but it's just there's a closed gate, we can't get in. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna drive out and see if there's not another road we can figure out how to get in there, but not looking very optimistic. So, we've got two of these little signs, and uh, we're being optimistic that maybe um, they're gonna take us to an additional camp uh, in the guidebook it says there's two different hot spring camps and we were at one and um, so we're just driving down hoping that maybe we could find the other one well it kind of dawned on us that we think those green little signs are for the Baja 1000 so it appears we're not gonna find Canyon de Guadalupe. Well, we did find it, so I shouldn't say that we're not gonna find it. Uh, we're giving up on getting into it. And uh, I don't know if you can see this map, but uh, the Canyon de Guadalupe road, we came down this and then there's a road over here and that's Canyon de Guadalupe. So we're now, uh, we drove down here and we're slowly making our way down this. We're either going to try to find this little road right here and cross over these mountains or we're going to head over to the five and try to figure something out from there. Uh, but we were just randomly driving through the desert and I'm really glad that our parents have no idea this is what we're doing. We won't know until after we've hopefully made it safely out. <laughs> if I told anybody that I was driving through the desert randomly, we had no idea where we were or where we were going. I think everyone would be worried about us. I think we're a little worried about us. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. All right. All right, so we're in a desert in Mexico and we are very lost. Um, we came across this sign and uh, we tried to find that on our map and the only thing that we saw that looked like it could have anything to do with that was El Polomar uh, Canyon up here. Um, and on the map it shows the road ending, but this road looks like it keeps going and it just goes into the mountains. And we just wouldn't even know where we were headed at that point. So I think we're finally going to turn around and uh, reassess our situation. So we got pretty lost today in the desert <clears throat> following those racetrack signs or whatever hoping that it was gonna get us either to the three or the five and uh, we have like no GPS we were just using maps uh, we thought we were gonna have some phone service and we have because uh, we switched some services and we don't <clears throat> anyways uh, we're like at a we were at a half a tank of gas and realized we either had to be super committed and could have gotten super screwed if uh, we never got out and uh, 
So we played it safe and we turned around and we're really close to Mexicali now. Again, but we don't want to go into Mexicali. We are trying to be like smart about border towns and so Mexicali is a border town so we're we're not gonna go in. We haven't seen anybody. There's like a couple houses, but the people seemed like they didn't care that we were around. Otherwise, we haven't driven back past a single car. So we're just camped out in the middle. The roads are like right next to us. And we're just gonna sleep. We're gonna eat some dinner and sleep. And uh, head to the national park and hopefully get this vacation started right tomorrow. Everything you say, Matt? Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we find our way out of this desert into the mountains of northern Baja and celebrate Matt's birthday. I want to say thank you to our first patron on Patreon. Uh, you're helping support our videos and we're very grateful for that and so we picked up a couple of these giant trash bags in your honor off the Caribbean coast of Mexico. If you would like to find out more information about how you can become a patron, click the link in the description box down below and I'll take you over to Patreon.